Hunter, I'm glad you're here. Do you see that curious creature over there? It suddenly showed up out of nowhere. It must have followed the Tail Raider Safari in the ancient forest and made its way back here. I've tried to figure out what it could be, but I've given up. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't even speak. I'm beginning to doubt that it's from this world, or that it's even living, for that matter. Whatever it is, it's outside my area of expertise. It's best the commander was informed of this. I'll send a feline to fetch him right away. Mind staying around here until he arrives? A peculiar case, to say the least. I'm interested to see what comes of it. I see. I think I understand the situation. Though I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it, none of its features seem to resemble anything close to what we know is a living creature. Are you saying that this creature could have come from another world? <sighs> Seems like a lot of that going around lately. I believe we might find the answer to that in the ancient forest, where it was first spotted. There are too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct this investigation with extreme caution. It seems it might take a while to get to the bottom of this. If only there were someone who knew exactly what this was. research base to be more specific and you are Geralt of Rivia Witcher was tracking a monster through the forest when well I was transported here of a sudden must have been magic of some kind that brought me to this world <laughs> great magic in our world this is like something out of a fairy tale what you're saying is hard to believe, but after what we've just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. A Necker? Well, well, quite familiar with those. How'd that one even get here? It came from the ancient forest. If we head there, maybe we can find clues to why you and the Necker came to our world. However, I fear monsters from another world might be beyond what the research commission is capable handling tell you what happened to be a monster slayer of sorts myself so venture to say I could take care of your problem in the woods at a price of course deal we're counting on you all right let's go over what we know First, this creature is called a Necker, and it is not from our world. Second, the Necker was somehow transported from its world to the ancient forest. And third, what caused this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come to our world remains unknown. Beast probably dropped through a portal like I did, a different one, wound up in this ancient forest of yours. Worth looking into, I'd say. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you think it might be. Now that you mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. They're scavenger birds with black feathers. Scavenger birds? <laughs> Sounds fun. The Commission will provide support in whatever way we can. I've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. If you cross paths in the forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Thanks. Normally, I'd have you handle assignments like this. But given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one in the Witcher's hands. Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Let me handle this one, Hunter. Promise I'll tend to it right away.
commission member. Should talk to him. Good to see you. Be careful. Ancient forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. A commission member could know something. That monster mangled pretty bad from what I can see. You got that right. Huh? Wait a sec. Aren't you... Geralt. I'm a witcher. See a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Right. The witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Actually, need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. Herbivore. Gotta be, judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. Yeah. They're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. Uh, but, yeah. It's not uncommon to see an Aptonoth carcass lying around here and there. Body is riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something. Collapsed here. Aptonoth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Aptonoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at. Drop dead here. So strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay. I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. Might find the tracks of whatever did this. Feathers. Black. From the birds that attacked the Aptonoth. Gotta be. Just need to follow these. Should find where it was first attacked. Black feathers. And the markings? Same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. No use trying to pick them off one by one. Could incinerate them all with Iggy, though. Don't see any other way. You okay, Witcher, sir? I'm fine. Seems the black birds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless... there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem? Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly. It didn't seem like that was the case, though. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison. It was like one big flock monster. I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. 
It was as if something was manipulating them. Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be. Small humanoid creature, ugly smirk on its face. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face, around its mouth. Like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis. Though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That... and it's easy peasy. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails, and the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. See where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world. In my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. Clear as day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. to margin must belong to one of the commission members need to look around look for clues long stride deep prints took off in a panic footprints lead deeper into the woods wonder what spooked him all over the place. Hmm. Something pounce on them, they get attacked. Need to look around some more. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Tree roots. All extending in one direction. Reaching out for something, looks like. Need to follow these roots. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. Beasts are of this world. Unlucky ones at that. No signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully whoever left these footprints was luckier. Oh my! A fiver! You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? 
Wait, you are not from the Fifth, are you? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a Witcher. Was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, oh, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the Research Commission. A master of the botanical arts, so to speak. Roots seem to like you. A lot. Ugh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well... I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin! There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. Need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right. But what's in it for me? Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. That was incredible! Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher. Monster Slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? In all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. These, uh, Puke Puke, what kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. 
They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues. But if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep my eyes peeled. So, like plants so much you became a botanist, huh? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. You see, we Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away. And I am forever grateful for it. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would you? Might not be around next time to burn you free. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm-hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? a hare and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is Alessian's doing. Bet it also transported both me and that Necker to this world. Seems stronger than a normal Alessian, though. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right. Need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center. Map ought to be helpful. Monster. Pretty bad shape, but still... Location, points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. Huh? Hmm. Inscription of some kind. Can't decipher it. Member of the commission might be able to. Is that a hunter I see? No, it is not. You are? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Got some questions for you. Ah, the witcher. Yes, of course. I am to provide whatever assistance you may need. Commander's orders. If it's questions you have, fire away. Your field of research. What is it? Well, I specialize in small creatures called Linians. For instance, felines, grimalkins, and gajaraka are all species of Linians, each with their own unique culture. 
I spend most of my days traversing the new world, researching their ecology, culture, and lifestyle. Must have strong knees to travel that much at your age. Ha! Perhaps in my more youthful days, but these frail legs of mine just aren't what they used to be. I'm afraid I just can't keep up with the little fellows. By my aching ankles, they are nimble as can be. These days, I just get hunters to track them for me. <laughs> Guess the little creatures here can be just as much of a pain as they are in my world. Found some strange markings. Could be linked to the recent events in the forest. Can you decipher them? So, you've seen them too, have you? Those are Gajalaka doodles! And thanks to our hunters' efforts, I can decipher them as a matter of fact. Great. What do they say? They read, Crisis, King Tree, Top, Gather. I'd wager this King Tree refers to the Ancient Tree. Big one in the middle of the woods? Hmm, not enthusiastic about the prospect of having to climb that. There is a part of the trunk that is hollowed out. If you go through there, you can reach the top in no time. Thanks. I'll give it a shot. By my twisting tongue, I believe my interpreting skills will be of use to you. I shall come as well. However, I won't be able to move at the same pace as yourself, I'm afraid. Please go ahead. I will follow and meet you there. Take your time. See you at the top. Take care. Guess that's the only direction. Geralt of Rivia, scaling a tree from the inside. That'll be a story to tell. <laughs> Could get used to that. Ciri's been places, I know. But I don't think she's ever come to this world. Voices. The Gajalaka must have gathered nearby. This is it, all right. Wait, just want to talk. Damn it, no choice but to fight. Closer. Friendly, are you? Don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. <coughs> Calm down. Just want to talk. <coughs> Not getting anywhere with this. Gotta wait for the researcher. Master Witcher, apologies for the wait. Good thing you're here. What's this thing screaming at me? Yes, of course. <clears throat> you are very strong, impressive. Hmm, here I thought they were angry. Ask them why they've gathered here, will you? To decide the next chief. Our previous chief became possessed and disappeared. We could not find him. This is a serious matter. A new chief must be chosen. Then you showed up. You are strong, worthy to lead us. We have decided you are our new chief. Me? Hang on a minute. In all my years, I've never seen Gajalaka this happy about anything. But this is indeed a serious matter. What say you, Master Witcher? Fine. Tell him I'm their chief. Rejoice! The long-legged white-haired one is chief. Put on your mask. Dance the dance! All right. First off, calm down. Second, listen. 
As your chief, I've got three rules. Rule one, you gotta tell me what happened to the old chief. Yes, chief, it happened recently. The old chief looked like he was suddenly possessed by something and was in great pain. In pain, he left, disappeared, only leaving behind these words. Supreme Healer, Tree Abyss. Possessed, huh? Sounds like Witcher's work to me. And, uh, Supreme Healer, Tree Abyss, what's that about? A secret passed down from chief to chief. It can heal any wound instantly. That is all we know of it. Mm -hmm. Guess the old chief realized something was wrong, went to that secret place to try and heal himself. All right then, rule two. The new chief doesn't wear masks, nor does he dance. Unforgivable! The chief must put on a mask and dance! Put on your mask! Dance the dance! Not done yet. Rule three. If your old chief is found, turns up, what have you, he's chief again. And I'm gonna go look for him. Bring him back here, and he can put on the masks and dance all you want. Sound fair? You would really look for him? We accept. If you find the old chief, we allow you to step down as chief. But if you don't find him, you will wear a mask and dance the dance. That's not happening. I'll find him. Supreme Healer. Well, healing means potions to me. Concoctions. Any herbs grow in these woods? Verbena or Celandine? A healer worth his salt would need them for brews. I'm terribly sorry, but I haven't the slightest clue what those are. I'm afraid Herbology was never one of my strong suits. However, if you speak with the Handler, she may know something about those herbs. Or perhaps even about this supreme healer. Handlers are the Commission's information specialists. They record every minute detail when out on investigations. By my confounded cranium, if anyone knows the forest more than I, it's the Handler. Uh-huh. And where do I look for this Handler? I believe she's standing by at the South Camp. She also has been given instructions by the commander to provide assistance should you need it. Got it. Thanks. Tree Abyss sounds like a location. Any place in the forest known by that name? Not specifically, but I believe I know the place to which the term refers. As you know, there is a hollow cavity within the ancient tree. Passing through it brings you here. But it leads down to the base of the tree as well. Right. So, Tree Abyss likely refers to the lowest point of the hollow. Makes sense. Worth investigating. The forest's twists and turns can be quite difficult to navigate. Do take care not to lose your way. Gajalaka claimed their chief seemed like he was possessed. Interesting. In my experience, possession in any form usually involves a curse. Given the recent happenings in this forest, I wouldn't be surprised. Lately, it's been one mystery after the next. So let's say their chief was cursed. Could have left to find a way to free himself of it. Ventured off in search of an exorcist. Anyone in the Commission have that skill? Sadly. I'm afraid there isn't anyone in the New World that possesses it. Hmm. Why do you wander off, then? Need to rethink this. Curse is a good starting point, though. These riddles. Wanting to make me their chief. Gotta admit, don't really understand these Gajalaka. Do not worry, Master Witcher. By my befuddled brain matter, neither do I. Glad I'm not alone. Indeed. Say, when you're confronted with something you don't understand, what do you do? Can't imagine you can just ignore it as a researcher. Simple. Understand what I am able to, accept what I am not able to. That's it. Acceptance, huh? Fine, I guess. As long as you know you can coexist with them. All right. 
got the information I need, I think. Take care out there. If you find the chief, I shall rush to your side to interpret. The chief realized something was wrong and ventured off to seek out the supreme healer. Need to find out where he went. Time to get going. Time to get going. Wing Drakes. Strong, silent types, I guess. Hi there, Mr. Witcher. How goes the investigation? Progressing, I suppose. You're one of the Commission's handlers, right? Wanted to ask you some questions. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. You heard of the herbs Verbena and Celandine? Do they grow in this forest? They're ingredients I need to brew a healing potion. Celandine? I don't see any records of such herbs having been discovered here in the New World. Is someone not well? The Gajalaka chief is missing. Seems to be connected with the recent events. He fell... ill, and ventured out to find something or someone called the Supreme Healer. Ring any bells? Hmm... I don't think you'll be able to find the herbs you mentioned in the ancient forest. But... I have an idea of what Supreme Healer might mean. Go on. There are many methods of healing wounds in this forest, but the most effective is the giant vigor wasp. Giant vigor wasps store large amounts of highly concentrated nectar in their bodies that contain restorative properties. When struck, the nectar is released in a cloud, healing anyone in the immediate area. They're a pretty rare form of endemic life, but for a native of the forest, I'm almost positive the Gajalaka chief would know where to find them and know exactly what they can do. Worth a look, I guess. Where can I find them? At the roots of the ancient tree. Area 13 on the wildlife map. Thanks. I'll look into it. I'm curious. Seems like these woods are home to a lot of different beasts. Can you tell me what kind? All kinds. They come in all shapes and sizes. Let's see. There's Rathalos, King of the Skies, the gluttonous Great Jagras, and the lightning-quick Toby Kadachi, just to name a few. Oh, and then there's the vividly colored Puke Puke. Long tail, googly eyes. It's kind of cute, in a way. <clears throat> there's also smaller monsters, like the herbivorous Aptonoth, as well as Jagras, which travel in packs. What kind of monsters are there in your world? Griffins, werewolves, foglets, to name a few. Noon wraiths that only appear when the sun's at its apex. Whole assortment, really. Oh, they sound like they'd be really difficult to capture. Oh, they are. Easier to just kill them. That hunter that was with you, where is he? Haven't seen him around. He's out on assignment, to keep the larger monsters out of the forest. They definitely get in the way of your investigation if they were roaming about like usual. Keeping them out of the whole forest, alone? Must be quite the hunter. He's... how do I put this? One of a kind. First class in everything. Skill, resourcefulness, application. But above all else, he has this amazing willpower to carry out anything he sets his mind to. I interact with many hunters in my line of work, but I've never met one who comes even close to him. Years from now, he'll probably be known as a legendary hero. It's a great time to be alive. Hero, huh? I know someone who would gladly pen a ballad about your hunter. Really? Then I'll be waiting for the day our hunter's exploits become a household tune. They'll be humming it all the way from your world to ours. So long. Good luck out there. you roach
Siri had it right. Doesn't seem all bad this John through another world. forest filled with life. Medallion's humming strongly. Must be close. That's gotta be the chief, and he looks angry. So cursed after all. No choice but to fight him. That all you got?
Sorry to keep you waiting. That is without a doubt the Gajalaka chief. If you have something to ask, make haste. This might be the only chance we have him while he is still himself. Right. Tell him this. Sorry for that walloping. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I've been looking for you. <laughs> <clears throat> Me? Ah, I remember. My mind suddenly started to feel far away. I came here to be healed. Something's cursed you. Whatever it is, I'm here to kill it. Mentioned your mind felt far away. Remember what you saw then? I saw a black spiral. From it, an arm of withered wood came out and grabbed me. I do not remember what happened after that. Black spiral. Sounds like a portal to me. And I'd wager the owner of that arm of withered wood is behind everything that's been going on. Stay here. Something I need to tend to. Why save me? Let's just say this has become a serious matter. For me as well. So long. I shall remain here a while longer. I am worried about the Chief's current state. Eyes and ears peeled then. Be on your watch. Chief's curse and the events in the forest, they're linked. Have to be. Figuring out the problem, how to calm things down. That ought to solve the Chief's problem too. Need to keep going. out by destroying it. could hold sway over other beasts I run into. Need to be careful. Now, show yourself.
Seattle. How you like that silver?
Martian drew a lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Should deliver them to the Commission. Could be useful in their research. for saving me. I am in your debt. Are you part of the research commission? No, I'm a witcher. Here in the forest on a contract for the commission. Want to thank anyone. Thank them for hiring me. I see. One of our tribes have helped them in the past. But please tell them that they have the power of not one, but three tribes now. Got it. I'll tell him. Thank you for everything, Witcher. A little loud. But you folk are all right. Deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. And you convinced the Gajalaka to help us with our own investigation. Thank you so much. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. <sighs> Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, he cleared the forest of a lot of filth. He's our brightest star, so he's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that Leshen was taken care of, he was already off on another assignment. He sends his regards. Now then, here's your reward. Mm. Hefty as that coin is. It can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without his help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. this. Hmm. Think I get it. A gift for saving the Puke Puke over there. Bet we'd be good friends in my world. 
thanks. But I was just fulfilling a contract. Doing my job. Don't need any gifts. Tell you what. You give it to the Commission's best hunter. Tell him we'll probably meet again someday. Well, take care now.